Hello everybody, TGM Tech is here. Today I'm going to do the top 5 phones for 2014. Since 2014 is ending, we'll do the best top 5 phones that you can get in 2014. Now for number 5 is the HTC M8. I have chose this phone for number 5 is because I've seen it in the shops. I like its metal bezels around and everything, but it's just not for my taste. It's it's a nice phone, big phone, very fast phone, but the feel of it is very slippery because of the metal bez bezels. But the camera is also pretty much a letdown because it only has a 5 megapixel camera and it does not film in 4K. But to nowadays, there's a lot of phones that film in 4K. So that's the only reason why I put it on the top 5. But number 4 is definitely the iPhone 6. Apple has done a great job from the 4 inch to the 4.7 inch. My friend has the phone so I tried the camera, I tried all, all the features and everything and I'm really happy with it. But it's not the best phone out there. So it has to sadly go on number 4. For number 3 has to be the Sony Xperia Z3. It's really nice. It's waterproof. It films in 4K. It has a 20 megapixel camera. But the only letdown is that they have put a smaller battery. They have shrunk it down by little millimeters, but they could not fit a better battery. That's the only letdown for me in that Sony Xperia Z3. That is why. I have to say, I have to put it on number three. Now for number two, I have to put the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. I personally love it so much. I need that phone, honestly. I love to write with that S Pen. It's just amazing, that, that new design that they have done. Yes, it is a big phone, but I love big phones even though i have little hands i like big phones but the iphone 6 plus as i said before is a little bit too big i just it doesn't feel it feels too big but the samsung note 4 feels like it feels smaller i don't know how but it just feels smaller maybe it's just for me it films in 4k and it has a marvelous camera and it has stabili stabilization for the pic pictures. And it has an awesome battery life. So that is why I put it on number two. Now, the final one that we have been waiting for. The first place goes to the OnePlus One. The reason why I like the OnePlus One is because its specs are as good as the top phones in the market specs. And it is earn it's like half the price of the bigger phones. It only costs 350 euros for 64 gigabyte. But the Samsung Note 4 costs 739, and the Xperia Z3 costs 639, while the iPhone 6 costs 700 euros, and while the HTC M8 costs. 549 euros off contract so it's a really big difference from from the one plus one to all the other phones from the top five from the top five so and the camera films in 4k it has a magnificent touch on its back it has a big screen which I like don't get me wrong guys it's for me my perspective which I like and it's so it's really compact and that is why I think I have to put it on number one but there is one reason but there is one problem with the one plus one it 
middle button has a little bit of lag when it not the middle button the home button when it has a little bit of lag when you press it it stops for a few seconds it's not as fast as like the back button or the page button it has a little bit of lag i've compared it with the hdc m8 and there's a really big difference so that's the only letdown for me but i can survive with that i don't know guys if you can and it only costs 350 euros so that is why i decide to put that as number one so that wraps up the top five phones for 2014 and remember guys it's only my perspective so if you want to tell yours write in the comments below and remember guys subscribe thanks for watching bye